Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to do a super chill video. Actually in saying that it'll probably be more chill for you guys. It will be horrifying for me because I wanted to go onto my Instagram page and look through some of my very old outfits. If you guys are like regular watchers of my videos, you will all know like a general understanding of my style. Um, I don't really know what to categorize it as, but I just kind of call it dark. Like whatever aesthetic that I decide to wear, I always try to make it a bit darker. Yeah, I was just interested to go through my Instagram feed to way back and just see what the hell was going on because I know that I have not always dressed like this and I know that there was an unfortunate point in time where I was completely brainwashed by trends and fast fashion because I just didn't have that much of an understanding about the impact that fast fashion had so I really want to go back and just humiliate myself for you guys. I think that I'm going to be rating these outfits as well based on like how likely I would be to wear them again, like now. Yeah, let's go all the way back. When I was a teenager, I didn't really post a lot of like uh, outfit photos. I mainly posted like selfies and photos of like bands and movies and stuff that I was into at the time. But I think I'm gonna start here because this is where you can see like a full sort of outfit photo of mine. And yes, it is me meeting Melanie Martinez. <laughs> that came up where I was like, okay, let me dissect this outfit. Okay, so I am wearing a leather heart choker necklace. I'm wearing like a sheer pink blouse. I've got skull and crossbone suspenders and I'm wearing like mid-rise black jeans. Okay, honestly, this isn't that bad. <laughs> um, I do like that I've got like a sort of coquette top on but then I've got like emo accessories. I feel like I still do that sort of style now where I wear something more feminine and girly and then I like contrast it with something more alternative. I would rate this outfit like maybe a six or seven out of ten because I like that I've done something back then uh, that I currently do now shows that like even though I've changed a lot I haven't changed that much you know and then another like subtle flex <laughs> but this is a photo of me meeting Frank Eero from My Chemical Romance I've met him twice now um he's the sweetest guy ever but anyway um the outfit here I'm wearing my uh denim jacket that I had put patches all over and I even like made patches and stuff to put on it, um, which I was like super proud of at the time. The jacket itself is thrifted and uh, didn't fit me very well. Uh, it was like really tight. I'm wearing a Frank Eero shirt and then again, I'm wearing these like mid-rise skinny jean things. They just look horrendous. I really don't know why I wore those. They were so uncomfortable. Skinny jeans and jeans in general and like especially mid to low rise are so uncomfortable on me. I absolutely hated wearing them, but I wore them all the time. Anyway, I'm not gonna read this because you can't even really see the outfit properly, but um, just want to show you guys that I've met some cool people over the years. As you can see, my page was just mainly full of fandom stuff, really cringy selfies. Jesus Christ, why am I showing you guys this? Okay, this, this photo here. Um, most emo photo ever. So yeah, this was really the vibe. I remember having this t-shirt because it had Keanu Reeves on it and I was obsessed with Keanu Reeves. Wearing, again, just some really horrible skinny jeans. My docks that I had for years. And then a leather jacket with these red John Lennon sunglasses. I used to wear these all the time and they literally, I'm convinced that I'm gonna go blind one day because I wore these glasses so much. It literally turned everything pink. They looked horrible. Couldn't see properly in them. So yeah, I don't know why I wore them so much. They didn't even look that cool, but yep. Still the wearability of this outfit, aside from the jeans being skinny, uh, like nine out of 10. Because my uniform in the last, you know, eight years has switched from being oversized cool band shirt, Doc Martens and skinny jeans to cool oversized band shirt, Doc Martens and a skirt. So it's basically what I wear now, just like a little bit different and more uncomfortable. Okay, here we have this. I don't know why, but I really went through a phase when I had red hair and bangs where I would wear gold all the time, um, like gold earrings and stuff like that. And I would wear yellow in this like bright ass yellow. And it was just horrendous. It was disgusting. I really like this shirt though, because the shirt itself said, um, why be racist, sexist, transphobic, and homophobic when you could be quiet? So real. Um, 16 year old me was really onto something with that one, but the overalls over the top, disgusting. I feel like this was really like art ho 
period of Instagram and stuff and maybe I was getting um, a little bit brainwashed by everyone uh, on the internet because they were all wearing those like super saturated colors and yellow just seemed to jump out at me for some reason. I literally would not be caught dead wearing yellow now. I'm giving Minion and the hair tie on the wrist just to top it all up. Two out of 10. All right, we're getting into sort of like more emo territory. Like I wish that I could go back to 2018, 17 year old me and just be like, hey, don't wear that out of the house. Like, what are you doing? To be fair, I think that a lot of these outfits are pretty normal and pretty fine. Yeah, I think this outfit is like totally fine from like here, no, from like here to here, like, you know? Um, black t-shirt with like a graphic on it or something with this red uh, velvet cami over the top. I think that's so cute. And then I've decided to pair all of that with a bright pink and black mini skirt. And then I've also got a uh, yellow eyeshadow and like s this s graphic sun eyeliner. I give the top of the outfit a eight out of 10. I would wear that today, I think. Uh, the bottom of the outfit one. Okay, so here you can see we are getting into like 2020 lockdown territory. And this is really where micro trends were really starting to become very prominent. Um, I feel like because of everyone being stuck inside during lockdown, um, we were just forced to be on the internet all the time, 24 seven. And I bought a lot of random crap online. <laughs> okay, so to start off the micro trends of the 2020 lockdown period, um, cow print was literally everywhere. I could not scroll for one second without finding someone doing some sort of cow print look. And I got this cow print dress and I don't know, I don't think that there's a full photo of it, but the top of it is really cute. It's got these cap sleeves. I do think the cow print really does remind everyone of 2020, you know, lockdown period. So yeah, this was very on trend. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't wear cow print again. I don't think that it's very cute. I think that cheetah print and leopard print and stuff like that is cuter. This was the point in time when I was doing a lot of graphic eyeliner looks. I was really teaching myself how to do makeup because I could just sit all day in my room and do nothing but scroll through people's makeup accounts and try and recreate them. So yeah, I was really just like experimenting. I'll give it a nine out of 10. Again, I'm wearing a hair tie around my wrist. That's like styling 101. You take off the damn hair tie from your wrist. Okay, you know what? I really like this look here. Um, the corset is not a real corset. It's just like off some random cottagecore website that I found. I love the earrings. They are like bursting sacred hearts. My makeup looks very dramatic, kind of crazy. I was also wearing like a knockoff Vivian Westwood necklace that would never sit right. So I blue tacked it to my chest. What was I doing? But hey, the photos came out kind of cute. This outfit's cute. I feel like I could definitely recreate this and make it uh, a bit more gothic. Um, I probably do my makeup a bit differently, looking a little drag queen-ish. Um, but overall, I rate this a nine out of 10. I've got this like 70s inspired outfit on with this little graphic orange mini skirt and this uh, green turtleneck. I love the boots though. The boots absolutely slayed. So yeah, this was a vibe like at the time and with my orange hair, this really matches very well. My green nails and the gold I got going on. But yeah, no, absolutely wouldn't uh, wear that now. <laughs> if the skirt was a different color and if the turtleneck was a different color, I definitely wear it now. So I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. Okay, we've just got more glasses and like fast fashion stuff. I'm pretty sure we were back in lockdown at this point and yeah, I was just ordering stuff off of Depop and online. I don't really know why I was gravitating towards these like super trendy, like wavy patterns and uh, bright neon and pastel colors. I really just do not think that this was me at all. And I was not happy when I was wearing these outfits. This outfit in particular, I absolutely hate. I think I wore this outfit maybe one time. I just didn't like it. I don't know why I spent so much money on it. I, it must've been some weird impulse buy, one out of 10. Okay, this is when I started to get a little bit darker. I feel like we were coming out of lockdown. I'm wearing like a kind of generic emo outfit in this one. This top was from like cheap store or something. So it was like 10 bucks, fast fashion again. Yeah, this outfit, I would wear this again if it was like from an ethical brand or if it was thrifted. And then the pants with the cutouts, that's cute. And with and the makeup, it works. Yeah, I would wear this again, nine out of 10. Oh my God, okay, let's talk about this bright neon orange 
terry cloth play suit from jaded london um jaded london had an absolute chokehold on the world in 2021 2022 um they have pivoted so quickly to hop on any sort of trend. It's like actually crazy. And this specific jumpsuit playsuit thing was literally everywhere. It wasn't flattering on me. It was a little bit too small. You can see that the buttons are like struggling to stay closed because I, I got the wrong size. Um, it's super, super short. I don't think I ever wore this outside. And then I've matched my makeup to it. And you know what? I've done a pretty good job with the makeup. I think that that's like, that's interesting. I think Euphoria really changed a lot of brain chemistry in uh, 2019, so that's fine. I'm not mad at the makeup. It's just that this play suit is so... no. <laughs> no. Looks like I'm wearing Fanta or something. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Alright, this photo here. This is when they, like, opened up the thrift stores properly and I started, like, actually going thrifting again and I would go to, like, thrift markets and stuff like that. Um, I found this jacket, this Penny Lane jacket that I still have um, on Depop for like 50 bucks. I was so happy. I thrifted these Diana Ferrari boots um, that disintegrated very quickly. I got this really like kind of ugly, kind of cute bag from I think Hunter Markets, um, which again, I still have. And I still have this little pleated tennis skirt as well. I, yeah, I really like this outfit. This is really cute. I feel like if I were to swap out the top for literally anything else, then I would definitely wear this outfit again. 10 out of 10. Okay, so this was like in 2022 when I was like kind of teetering on the edge of being alternative, but I was too scared to go like fully into it. And I would kind of tone things down by wearing more neutrals. What the hell is going on here? This is like you're a dad and you're going camping with your like three sons and you might go fishing later, core, you know? That's the vibe. I feel like I was really having like a crisis at this point where I was like, am I allowed to be alternative? Am I allowed to wear these kinds of clothes? So two out of 10 for all of those neutral outfits. I also went through a weird period, even like last year, I feel like I was still kind of doing this where I would wear very like cyber Y2K looks. Um, Kind of like this one here, I still have this jumper. It's so cute, I love it. Um, it's just slightly unraveling, which is very sad. But I would wear a lot of these like silver sneakers and like silver, you know, headphones and just a lot of like baggy track pants and stuff. Like it was very comfortable. See, even like here, this is kind of like cyber Y2K, I guess. I don't really know if this style suited me. I wouldn't go back. <laughs> I think the greys were like really washing me out and wearing white just doesn't look great on me. All right, we have finally hit the period where I dyed my hair black for the first time in my life. All the photos you saw of me earlier on when I had like strawberry blonde hair, that's my natural hair. <laughs> but I really do feel like the second that I dyed my hair black, I was like, oh, my style makes sense to me now. And like, I should be doing this not this and I should be focusing on the darker side of my wardrobe. So yeah, this was the first outfit that I really put together um, after I dyed my hair black. I slayed this. I really did. I, I really like this outfit. It's just like a plain white tank top. I have this really cool like choker necklace with a guitar on it, which I still have. I have my mom's silver glow mesh bag, which again, I still have this a uh, studded belt, just like loosely sitting here, big chunky hoop earrings, this perfect mini skirt, which is one of my favorite pieces of all time in my wardrobe, and then my uh, Diana Ferrari heeled boots. And I've also spiked up my hair to be more like Y2K club scene, you know? I love this outfit, 10 out of 10. Okay, this is honestly one of my favorite outfits that I've worn just because of how cool my makeup was when I did it and how everything like matched perfectly. So I went and saw Ash Nico and obviously her vibes are insane. They're immaculate, they're perfect. So I had to try and match them somehow and I went with wearing this really like a ripped up outfit and I was wearing these little bloomer shorts. I had these white leg warmers and my big white platform shoes and then I was wearing this like mesh corset top thing. And then I put that outfit together and I was like, it's not enough, it's, it's not good enough. And then I got two pairs of tights and just ripped a bunch of holes in them and put runs in them and whatever. And then I put them on my arms and my legs 
and immediately it just pulled the whole outfit together. I felt so good wearing this. I'm wearing a lot of chunky jewelry. And then obviously I did a kind of crazy makeup look where I did this like spiky hot over my nose, which I really liked. I kind of want to do an outfit like that again. So yeah, I, I really love that outfit. One of my favorites that I've done. Okay, I don't want to go like too recent because you guys can literally just scroll for like two seconds on my Instagram to go and find these. But the last outfit that I want to talk about is this one here where I was wearing this gorgeous face off top. I had this little red bag and then I had this plaid um, handkerchief hem skirt. And I still own all of these pieces because they are literally my go to pieces when I don't know what to wear. I literally just put on this outfit. I wear this all the time. I had fully incorporated like pops of red into my wardrobe. I was getting more into like dark academia um, aesthetic and dark coquette. And obviously I'm still currently very into dark coquette. I think that it suits me a lot. Um, and yeah, I just, I really loved this outfit. I felt so comfortable wearing it. I love the proportions of it. Yeah, I love this outfit. I, I, again, I wear it all the time. So yeah, I think this is one of my favorite, uh, outfits ever. And this is really where my style is now. Um, of course I have other aesthetics that I incorporate into my style that are a bit more, um, you know, emo or even like my office car aesthetic that I really go for now. But yeah, this, um, this outfit is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm so glad that I have actually embraced um, this darker aesthetic. I feel so much more comfortable wearing all the clothes that I do now. And dear God, if you guys ever catch me at Glassons or Universal Store or even Cotton On buying a neon pink wavy patterned like 70s inspired fast fashion piece of crap shoot me on site anyway that does bring me to the end of the video thank you guys all so so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video even though it was just a bit chill it's not really like any styling content or thrifting content if you want to go and stalk my instagram my handle is vex hatfield it's just my name i hope that you've also learned from this that there is hope for all of us and um you will find your personal style someday. <laughs> it just takes a while to get there sometimes. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, then give the video a like. And if you liked me, then please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.